And not complex here, but rather an intriguing mix of the putative seaside, the windbreak, and the industrial. You know, the windbreaker is such a sort of quintessential icon of the British seaside experience that you have to be careful when you sort of drop it into a painting because you can really quickly make the painting kitsch. And because there is this industrial quality to this and they've turned away from the sea, you get this whole feeling of abandonment. I also think that avoiding the landscape format is really helpful as well to not make this look too sweet.